am Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Tuesday, and we get him on a Thursday here, so our lucky dog is out here today, folks. And don't forget, Basil does an outstanding show here every trading day, 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time. Also has a great newsletter, the opening call. Now, it's very easy to get the opening call, folks. Come over to our website at TFNN. You go into newsletters. You see it on the left-hand side, the second one down. You can get the opening call for one month for $149. You can get it for six months for $695, which is the savings of $199 at 22%. You can get it for one full year for $1,195, which is the savings of $593 at 33%. Now, they all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Basil also has a huge amount of archives out there, so you understand the different tools that he use and how he rides this market each and every day. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Hi, Tom, how are you? I'm doing great, yourself? Very good, thank you. Can you believe we're coming into Labor Day, Basil? Oh, uh, I just, uh, that means summer's gone for us. It yep. keeps going for you. Yeah, poor we're, we're... tennis, I know. Yeah, for us, <laughs> for us, we get very elated when <laughs> Labor Day is coming around. You know, yeah, the worst part of the heat wave, I guess, is over. And now well, you know what happens is that it, it really September is one of our worst months, but oh. we know it's coming to an end. And the reason it's one of our worst months. So check this out, folks. And, and Basil is pretty wild. It has to do with the water's already heated up to like 94, 95. Oh, of course. Yeah. So even though the temperatures aren't as big they get as big because of the humidity in the water so yeah you know. okay i got it yeah. but the bottom line is that we're on the other side of it so good so what are we going to look at today basil so let me do this i i'm going to show you because the month is just about to wrap up yeah. i'll show you this is the dow with the daily on the left okay this is the daily chart middle chart is the weekly chart on the right is the monthly chart the monthly chart, going backwards, we've still got a day to go. In fact, even today, anything can happen. But right now, we're looking at this monthly chart with a very strong candle, and all the technicals that I look at are very positive. There is just a chance that we've got an instant restart here by going from peak D within three bars. It actually was two bars to a higher high. I call this E, but I have to keep in mind, I always put that circle in when it's three bars okay. because it could continue to higher highs all the way to another set of peaks going to D. But anyway, go one step at a time. On the weekly chart, we've got the MACD finally turned up. The stochastic is still a little weak at 73%. The on-balance volume is very good. But the nine-period moving average, now I've spoken about this forever. In fact, it's, yes. just, it's one of my core things. I have webinars on it. I talk about it all the time. You can see here. Let me, I hope I've got it. Let me just go take this to the INDU. This is the daily chart okay. with just two, with three lines. The thick gray line is the Dow uh, daily. Uh, the green line is the nine-period moving average. And the black line is the 14-period moving average. And what we're looking at is, that as soon as that green line turns up, it can, this is a weekly chart, it can keep you going. That was in uh, November, about the 3rd. It can keep you going. And if you can use this as a, I use it as, I call it the indicator of last resort because it's the last one to really turn down. This is still acting very well. So with that said, let me just go to the uh, daily chart and show you the daily chart has gone to a leg C. In the Chapway methodology, as you know, I'm always looking for if I can just find this right there. I'm always looking for the lowest low bar. You can see right here in the monthly chart, we went along right at the low uh, back in 2022. We still have that position. I like to, uh, I mean, I try, like to use the technicals to be able to um, allow us the chance to be able to get there. We went along the day of August, the uh, fifth low, and then uh, we took profits. We got stopped out. We got right back in. We've been long ever since we've had, this is the, three times long uh, UDOW, and we've actually added and taken profits. And today, early in the morning, we added another position to our core position, So, and we took some profits off, and we've got it. One of the reasons is I like to go from the lowest low bar and to at least, if I get a buy signal upgraded to a buy mode, and this got upgraded to a buy mode about around about August the 14th with a nine period moving average cross positive, it says that there should be at least four higher peaks to come. It can go higher, but the objective in the Chapman wave is to get you from a buy signal upgraded to a buy mode, and that says there should be four higher peaks to come. With that said, where are we? 
I was waiting, 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 and I thought there's such a good chance that using this particular cup formation technique, and I'll discuss it in my Tiger Technician's Hour tomorrow morning at 10. I was waiting for leg C. So that means we've made leg C. It doesn't matter. It could even fail. It could go from here. It could go down to 40,700. It doesn't matter. This is called the leg C. Unless it actually went all the way back to under 38,499, this is still going to be leg C. What I'm anticipating is that there'll be a bit of a rest. It could be today. It could be tomorrow. It could, be, it could go on for a couple of days. But when that peak C arrives, there'll be a pullback, and then there should be a leg D. Leg D is where I start to look. You can see what happened here at peak D in the weekly chart. That's where you can get uh, a number of things can happen. It could be the sharpest pullback. It could be a restart by within three bars going from D to another high, which means you've got an E slash A, and maybe it started a new buy mode. But the most important thing is right now the MACD is good. The 9 is over the 14. The stochastic is flat at 92%. If you are bullish, that's what you want to see, especially if it's flat. And the on-balance volume is just a tad overboard. So as I, as I look at it right now, I'm anticipating sometime in the next couple of days we'll get our peak C. Then we've got a leg D. And then I have to assess and say, can this continue or is this going to uh, pull back? So that's the Dow daily. And you can see the weekly chart is only in leg C. So that says in 2024, we should be making higher highs. So that's the analysis there. Then I thought I'd just mention, I, I like to have stocks for subscribers in all different price ranges because people yes. can afford different things. So I have single digits, I have double digits, you've got triple digits. But the most important, I also like to, every once in a while I get an IPO that I've followed for a little while and I actually like it. So here's one that we were looking at. Uh, uh, let me just, SOLV is the symbol. It's in the healthcare industry. It's called Solvent. Right here, Solventum Corporation Healthcare Spinoff is a spinoff actually from Triple M. That part I liked, that it came from a, an organization that has funding and that means that it's got some, some backing. So what's really important, we went long about three weeks ago around about the, I think it was in the 50, 55 or 57 area. And I was waiting for this peak D and I drew in these patterns where I look at cup formations, time sequences, left side highs that would be a target where price comes down and it goes back to the same price in the same amount of time. And what we're looking at is today it popped to leg D. Remember, we're always looking for D. Yes. That's the objective in the Chapman Wave buy mode. And it's just under the 60, it's now at 63.44. Very big move today. It's up 5.5%, uh, 3.34. And as an IPO, it once hit, the, the month it came out, it went to 96 dollars and five cents then it got cut in half it went to 47.16 within three four months so this is the start of a move so if people are nervous about ipos i i've been following this and this is it's in the it's in healthcare, and that's the one area that has some pricing still so i think I, i'm also looking at stocks that are under the radar to me this is kind of under the radar so I like it and it's done what we wanted and we'll see what happens when it hits the 200 period moving average. And uh, so that's, uh, that's my story. The beautiful thing. And folks, it's very easy to get Basil's newsletter. Come over to our website at TFNN. You know, the newsletters, the second one on the left-hand side. Basil, you have a great one, safe one. We look forward to the show tomorrow. Thank you very much, Tom. You too. Thank you. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.